What I have found is that 90% of all the pain that we experience is due to trapped emotions, to emotional baggage from our divorce, from our abuse as a child, from our difficult work. Those energies stay with us and disrupt our lives and cause our diseases and much of our self-sabotage. I think that this is really the elephant in the living room in Western medicine that we are missing completely. I am absolutely convinced that it is our, our trapped emotions and uh, traumas and anxieties and unprocessed life experiences that we hold in our nervous system are the, the source of everything that ails us. Those symptoms are the body crying out, telling us there's something wrong here. Because emotions are a record of the past. And so if the emotion is stored in the body, then the body literally is living in the past. And the body is the unconscious mind, it believes it's in the same environmental conditions, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. The body's literally living in the past. And as a result, our heart rate increases, our immune system suppresses. We become more anxious because we're not in our fullest potential in the moment core of every symptom, stress, and disease are emotions and memories, traumatic perceptions that are buried in our subconscious mind. Emotions tend to build up, and we tend to push them away as they build up, because we've been taught to resist things that don't feel good instead of feel the things that don't feel good. So many of the things that are pushed upon the masses create negative emotional molecules. Once they're formed, they're real. And you can't even get them out of the body unless you know how to. The end result of that is that you become light and you become able to manifest into the world what you're supposed to be able to manifest. Imagine living in a world where everyone is actually manifesting from their heart into the world their perfect creation that is inside each of them. That's where we're going. What I've discovered is that 98% of the world's people are spending 98% of their time on things that don't matter. That is, the average person has no idea what they're doing here, who they are, the real fundamental and sacred purpose of their whole life. And I will say this, if you have something inside your mind that's hurtful and painful, how long should you hold it? And I say as long as you'd like a little child to hold it. And we move from the selfish states that are driven by the hormones of stress to the selfless states where we really want to contribute or we really want to make a difference. Making an effort to really uh, transform ourselves, I think, is the best way to begin to transform the world. What you find is you stop striving and you start living, you start being, rather than working hard at it. As you begin to step towards your path and purpose and reconnect and realign with that kind of spiritual integrity, the universe is stepping toward you. So there's this convergence going on until eventually you're being met by opportunities.